Okay, so answer these three questions. Do you always need to have the need to always feel good? Question number two, can you allow yourself to not to feel good at times? Question number three, can you see how low you can get and not feel good? Like, what's the extent to how low you can really get deep down there and still not use any sort of substance? Because the more and more you use these substances, the more and more angry, sad, and hostile you're gonna become. Hostile is when, you know, when you really dislike something and you're very open about it, that's how you become. And from me, I could see that straight through someone who's an addict because I was exactly like that you know and you, you, you know, when you're hostile you totally just tell them whether it's your family member somebody at work a colleague like even someone that you know like a friend and um, you will be direct and you just tell them how much you probably hate them and why you hate them you just wouldn't be in that good sort of mood because you're consistently trying to change your mood when you want to and when you're taking the substances it's changing your mood but then it's crashing you down but even when you're on substance you can still be hostile and you can still be someone that you're not and like i said it's going to make feel differently think differently um just be a total asshole at times but just be somebody that just dislikes things at times basically you become nasty and I know a lot of people out there and I'm not mentioning any names because they might just become more hostile to me. See, for someone that's suffering from depression or trauma and trying to forget about the past, it's kind of a good idea for your mind to use a substance to make you feel better instantly. And you'll surely find a rapid improvement within your mood, but then that will come crashing down with real negative consequences, especially in the long run. And then we're just in this cycle of addiction and we're just trying to find it hard to get out of. Just like I do. Next up, no drum roll. So next up, how does alcohol and these substances like cocaine and cannabis, psychoact psychoactive substances, how do they help you with your anxiety? You know, the future perceived stress that you're currently feeling anxious about now. Well, it calms you down and it makes you feel more relaxed. And it only does this by slowing down your nervous system. So these substances are depressants. They don't make you depressed. So they don't put you in a low mood or anything when you're suffering from depression but they depress your nervous system which then in return makes you feel more relaxed and calm again this is all good for the short term over time it worsens your anxiety it only makes you feel relaxed temporarily and when the substance wears off and you suffer from anxiety you're in for a ride because your anxiety worsens and it often comes back more intense than it was before you want to relax drug or alcohol you want to relax drug or alcohol you want to relax drug or alcohol and now you become trapped in this cycle of addiction and now you're going to need more and more of the substance to help you feel more relaxed 